Hey guys, Universal here, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering Fire Force Online, a new Fire Force game coming to Roblox. And I haven't seen a Fire Force game on Roblox in forever, so for those who've been looking for one to play, this should be a nice treat for y'all. First off, when loading into the game, you're presented with three basic options to choose from, the play option, the tutorial option, and the rank arena option. I'm going to go into tutorials so y'all can see the basic keybinds of the game. Now once you've went into the tutorial, now you'll press play. Then it'll give you the option to create your character. You'll obviously choose your gender and then you'll give it a name between 3 to 10 characters. Then once you do that, you'll press confirm. For those worrying about other character customizations, you can worry about that later. Your face is auto-generated, your hair color is auto-generated, and your eyes are auto-generated. This is all stuff that you can roll once you're in the main game, but anyways, you spawn into an Adola-like space right here. You can skip the tutorial, but you didn't have to come into the tutorial in the first place if you didn't want to do it, so you wouldn't really click that. Anyways, you come talk to this random girl who's in the Adola place. They're going to talk about how it's a link and stuff, and she's now just going to explain to you all the keybinds that are in the game. First, you have a punch, just your left click, obviously. You have your heavy attack, which is your right click. You have to be shift locked to use that. You have your air variant, which is a down slam. You have to jump and use it. You have your blocking. You have your countering, which is blocking and then clicking. You have your dashing. And then the running, it says double tap W, but now they've switched it to where you can actually toggle it to just shift lock, but you can toggle it back if you prefer that. And then there's also wall climbing by jumping while near a wall and you gotta press space bar over and over. Anyways, then it tells you about uh, how your character's fate is determined by your fate and alignment, thereby like talking about how there's fire force and white clad. And yeah, you'll just then get into the game. So I'm going to explain to you how you actually get a faction and how you start the game off. All right, now we're loading into the actual game. You're going to go ahead and press play. You're going to load into the game. And here's where you have to make like a really big decision, because first off, you're going to go talk to this guy named Thales. He's over here kind of by the fountain near the center. So we're going to go ahead and talk to him real quick. Now, basically, all Thales' job is, is to show you the basic, like, quest that you should do for good rep and bad rep. So first, he'll show you where the Officer Jones is, which is the good reputation quest, which is if you want to go Fire Force, you're going to go over here to the uh, police station, and you're going to get some quests from over here, and you're going to keep repeating them, and you're going to make sure you always choose the good option for your little side missions whenever you do those. But if you want to go white clad, you come over here to the slums, and you're going to talk to this guy right here. Now this right here is the crook. They'll be giving you all of your negative reputation quests. And if you want to go white clad, obviously, whenever you do your little side missions too, you'll always choose the bad option, therefore giving you negative reputation. But you know, me personally, I went white clad on my main, but for this guide, I'm going to be going fire force just so you know, cause it's a fire force online game. So why wouldn't I show you the guide through like the fire force side? But anyways, Anyways, next up, we'll be talking about the three main types of quests. We have our main mission quest, we have our side mission quest, and we have our quick mission quest. And the quick mission quest will be these little red pop-ups. You'll hear a little beep noise in your ear, and then you'll just look around for a red arrow, and then you'll go to that marker right there. And it's just like a quick time type of mission. This consists of around four quests, one of them being to help the old person across the street, one being help the uh, person, old person who faints to the hospital. Uh, there's another one of going into the construction site and retrieving some supplies that the construction worker needs there's also the stop a hijacker quest when there's going to be a car thief and then the last quest is going to be to catch the thief who steals the woman's purse of all these options whenever you do them depending on which path you take you always choose whichever one will give you like good rep or negative rep like the old person if you want negative rep you'll walk away from them and let them uh you know die if you want good rep you'll help them across the street um if you want good rep for the stolen car thief you'll beat up the car thief regardless but uh you'll just keep the purse and you'll take it to the police station if you want good rep or if you want to just bad rep and you want to be a villain obviously you'll keep the purse and take it to the slums Next up, we'll be talking about side quests, which you just saw me get. The most common side quests that you're gonna see, and I think honestly the only side quests in the game that you'll really see, like besides the mission boards, which we'll talk about those later. Um, before you become in any faction, the only side quest you'll ever see is this cat quest right here. The cat has multiple spawns, but the only spawns that you actually need to worry about is the one maybe on the fountain if you wanna get that, or the one on the bus stop that I got, which is the most easy and consistent one to get. And after retrieving this cat, you'll either take it to the slums or you'll take it to the police station to get your reward. Slums for uh, white clad you take it to police station for fire force 
Lastly, we'll be talking about the main quest and your most substantial amount of EXP gain. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the quest that you wanna farm out until it like gives you the cooldown that you can't do it anymore. And then you wanna move on to your side quest and quick time quest. So you'll go into the police station if you wanna be fire force and you'll go to the slums and go back to the uh, crook, I think it was, in uh, the slums. And you're gonna do that for white clad. And you're just gonna keep farming those missions over and over and over again until you're eventually your title will change it is a thief for white clad when you're around the rank where you can get kidnapped and it's around respected civilian for when you can eventually join the fire force now as you're going to see in the video footage that i'm showing you right here after i complete this quest i'm going to go from a civilian in the bottom left corner and my title is going to change to a respected civilian so once you reach this title for a white clad it's the thief once you're a thief it's an rng chance eventually you'll just get end up getting kidnapped and then you'll like do this thing where you have to give a child a fire bug then you have to kill the inferno that the child turns into and then you can become a white clad member but for us fire force you have to take this certain path you have to run to the fire force base and then you sign up for the fire force force exams and then you'll take these fire force exams and it's kind of important that you pay attention to this next part because if you don't you'll kind of end up selling yourself i'm not gonna lie to you now for those going white clad you don't have to worry about where you're at to try to get to the next area but for fire force you need to follow this path right here that i'm showing you from the middle of the city you're going to go straight to the left from the fountain kind of like to the left of the slums and you're going to want to run down this path i'm going to like I'll just let y'all watch this clip of me running down the entire way because I don't want anybody to get lost. And while I'm running down this path, I'll quickly explain to you how getting your ability works. Um, once you've hit rank three, you have the ability to get your generational ability and you can like awaken your pyrokinetics. But the one thing about it is that you have to get combat exp so that's why the thief the car thief quest is kind of important because you get like combat exp from that or you can go try to find some random infernal and you can fight that until you get enough combat exp you can just go into the woods and you can find some of those but the thing i like about the fire force quest is that the last part of the fire force like um like inauguration or like joining the fire force is that you'll fight a big infernal demon which will give you plenty of combat exp in which i actually awaken my ability while fighting it so i'm gonna keep letting y'all watch me get to it and then i'll show you how the exam goes Hey, now that we're here we're inside the base you're going to want to talk to the examiner right here you want to say yes please and then it'll like start up the queue for when they do their like fire force inauguration i'm doing it with my friend right here as you can see so both we're going to do this now it's going to turn on our notifications for when they start the fire force exams so i'm going to skip to the part where they like open up the queue actually i didn't have to skip it all it immediately started the second i tried to climb up this ladder so now you're gonna want to like you really should just stay by him and wait for that thing to end i don't know why i was doing this but anyways now you're gonna want to go talk to him again and then you're gonna say yes and now you're cued for when it starts now i'm gonna show you guys when like you actually start the exam as you can see right here, it's going to teleport you straight to the exam site and right here. And then you have your examiner right here. He's going to do a little bit of rambling to you. I'm not going to lie to you, but you low key kind of have to pay attention to the text, but not really since you have my guide video right here. He's going to like ramble a little bit. You low key actually are supposed to pay attention to this information and he's going to tell you a little bit about yourself. But obviously, most people are just going to click through this, not read it at all. But I'm pretty sure he's going to ask you a question. I don't know if this question is the same every single time, but you can go back in my video and watch if it's not the exact same but he's gonna warn you to stay away from the eighth division and then you're gonna walk forward and then he's gonna re-ask you a question saying what division did he recommend that you stay away from and make sure you click the eighth division or you've already failed the first part of the test see okay now the first test begins now as you can see he's gonna say what division did i recommend you stay away from low-key i was not paying attention and my friend had to tell me so i'm glad that he was actually paying attention because he's done it before so you click the eighth division bam you already passed the first test which is a w the first and second test are the easy parts the third test is the only one that's considered somewhat difficult but if you have a friends where you just learn the attack patterns it's like it's like fighting um what's it called what's that one mob from deep woken uh, Sharko, yeah, once you learn the patterns, it's like super easy. 
So next, the next examination, it, there'll be three random objects put on the table and then you have to go look around the base to go find them. This is actually like super simple. Uh, I found two of the, I found all three of the objects actually. And you have to make sure the other person, who, anybody who's doing it with you also finds these exact same objects. You just run around looking for them. I found these two in the back and then there's gonna be another one in the front. I'll just skip to when I turn all these objects in. Okay, now that we've both turned in our objects, now we're on our last part of the test. And this is actually low-key the only hard part of the test. And I'll, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. White class test is so much easier, but you do have to do it completely alone. So I guess that's why it's so much easier. But with this one, you can do it with like, I think you can do it up to like three or four people maybe. So that's why this one's technically kind of a little harder, but not really. And now you have to fight the prototype Inferno, which is going to be an Inferno demon. Uh, once you learn the pattern of this Inferno, it's super easy. You could solo this super easily. Um, that fire breath right here, you can parry that by holding holding a click and you see I awaken my fire ability right there just from getting a little bit of combat exp I'll go over how you check what ability you have after we get done with this fight but anyways you can parry the um fire attack then you want to go for four and ones then you want to dodge the stomp or the grab whichever one it does then you want to go for three and ones and then you want to parry the fire attack again and you just keep rinse and repeating that exact cycle and then you'll just you'll be able to perfect it pretty easily See, I wasn't really doing the pattern right here. See, look, I'll try to do three and ones. Obviously, I could have dodged right there, but I just wasn't ready for it. I be, I was trying to parry the stomp and stuff because I didn't like actually have the pattern down packed. But as you can see, look, really easy. And now we're both part of the fire force and you unlock your phone, which is going to be your main sources of quests from now on. I'll actually go over how to check your ability right here real quick so what you want to do is you want to open your skill tree and then you want to go look in the bottom right corner you'll have a new like uh assortment of skills down there now if you awaken your ability and there's no nothing down there in the bottom right that means you got generation one which means you'll have to go to one of the npcs around the map and they'll give you a weapon that you can use if you have generation two then there'll be a, like a line down there and you'll kind of it has like guns sickle um different abilities and then there's generation three which is what i got which is where you like you create your own fire obviously people already know about that and i got grand hands it's the non-canon ability it's kind of like the susano arms from naruto but it's still a really good ability i do end up rolling this to try to get uh, to get devil's foot because you know why not that's the main character's power so why not use it so anyways now i'm going to show you guys your uh armor that you need to buy in order to like uh level up for health and stuff because it's really really important now this armor is going to cost you a pretty little penny, both of them costing 700. They both give the exact same stats, so you can just choose whichever you want based off of the vanity if you're actually going to wear it. If you don't actually want to wear the vanity, you do have the option to, and when you put on the armor, just right click instead of left click, and you'll put on the armor without having to deal with the vanity settings. But you also have this blacksmith here, which you'll be able to use to upgrade the armor with infernal cores in the future, which you'll get from doing your quests and just fighting infernals over time. Now, one thing I will always recommend before doing any mission as a fire force, always make sure you come to this mission board and get the defeat infernals quest because more than half of your quests involve you fighting infernals. So this is just another way to like get another quest done while completing your main quest. So I'm going to show you me taking a phone call and getting a main quest. And I'm going to show you like the examples of the different main quests you have. Now we're going to pretend like that doesn't say mission failed because even though the quest did say that I, we had to put out the fire, me and my friend were being stupid and just thought we only had to kill the demon infernals. So anyways, you open up your, you press M and then you click on the phone icon. Therefore, it'll like um, do a call and then it'll like some quests TP you, but not all of them TP you. But more than more times than not, you'll get TP to your quest, especially the scientist quest where you'll walk up to your scientist and then you'll just guide him along a path. Once you reach the end, of this path uh but depending on how many people in your party you have it'll spawn that number of infernals in that you have to fight and then you'll fight those um once you kill them you'll complete your quest now there are quite a few quests there's a bunch of quests where it's like uh search and find an item to rescue a fellow member there is fighting people of the opposite faction there's fighting npcs from the opposite faction and there's a whole bunch of killing infernal quests but regardless of those you'll just always want to take phone missions whenever you can because they're going to be your main source of exp and always make sure you have a side mission up you're going to do this a lot from rank 1 through 25 and it's going to get you a lot of your exp and now I'll talk about one of the only other things that you'll really be doing during this one through 25 experience because more of the actual game content comes from 25 and up and that'll be in my next video.
all right one of the other things that'll greatly affect your progression in this game overall will be trainings you'll have the ability to train your strength which increases your overall damage completely and then there's the ability to train defense now you'll come up here to this area there are plenty of training areas all across the map but this will be the main ones depending on your faction area this is the fire force one and the white clad one is you'll just go downstairs to the basement and you'll run around until you eventually find a room it's like a white room in the like kind of like basement but you'll find it if you just look around uh you have these arm weights and you have this weighted vest arm weights are to be used when you just have them on all the time and by the more you punch stuff and the more damage you do eventually every time they like break it'll say training complete and that'll be like a little bit of passive exp towards your strength training and the weighted vest is like every time you get hit it'll like slowly work its way up towards like passive defense training and once it gets complete um it'll just like take itself off automatically you can complete both three times before you have to rebuy the product now these defense mats and the training mats on the side with the deadlift um these are like the actual training pads and you do these for the defense it's gonna be uh kind of like um you just press keys as they appear on your screen in that certain order and that's how you do the defense training it's oops e lock to wasd it's really simple and really quick um you just got to make sure you're just like fast with your keyboard as long as you're not just like i don't know mushy brain you'll be fine it's extremely easy to me um and for the uh strength training you're gonna want to just pull out an auto clicker and it's just it's osu um but like not like specific like like key click accurate osu it's just like you hover over a certain spot type osu where you have your auto clicker on and you'll be fine and the training is super easy and that only leaves one last thing for me to talk about for the experience of one through 25. And now the last thing that we'll be talking about is faction events. These aren't something that you necessarily have to do and they're not really going to give you an EXP reward, but they will give you cash and there's a slight chance from like when you win these you get chests and there's a slight chance that you might get accessories slash drops that you can use to boost your HP slash energy. The only reason I really took place in this one is because my quest was to kill this white clad up here. So, you know, I decided to hop in on it but um there's turf wars and there's capture the um there's push the payload push the payload is just like what it sounds like like the overwatch push the payload you literally go to a payload and you push it to the destination by standing near it or on it and then there you can also just um what's it called there's also defend the payload which uh it just like it just depends on the rng of what the quest gives you and there's also turf wars which is literally just like capture the point you have to go stand by the points a b and c and after a certain amount of time of getting points for a quest you'll eventually just you know um win like it's just like after a certain amount of points are accumulated but you know that's pretty much it um there's not really much else you can do you'll just be farming quests for the rest of the time i'm not gonna lie to you as you can see right here um we were like really down me and my friend were really down bad for this grip because it was our quest so you know i snagged him i ran to the side after using that skill and then i got this grip but then he ended up packing up me and my friend i'm not gonna lie to you so um let me let me show you how i handled this situation all right, as you can see, he's going to knock me and my friend both right here because he had already got us one tap. But I want you to look at that background. You see that? You see that ticking running? Yeah, that's, that's me on my main account. And I'm just going to say I started boxing, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I started pulling. Like, my friend started laughing at everything. Like, I started piecing bro up over there. Look at his health. Disappearing. Disappearing. Hey, that's all I'm saying. If you run into me in game and you really think you're going to play with me just because I'm not max rank, that's what you're going to run into. You, you see me over there putting in work on him. Wait, wait, he looked like he was low-key kind of boxing for a second because he got that mode on. But that's really just because I got him low. Look at that, look at that. Look at him trying to run. He not getting away. Hey, don't worry about it. In like two seconds, I'm finna bring his body over here. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Yeah, you see him in my arms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brought him right back over to the main account. Don't mess with me, boy. Come on now. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. One of the best players in the game. But anyways, that's my guide on 1 through 25. It. I'm gonna be honest with you. It took me about six hours just to get to rank 25 but on the low that's not bad that's like three days of maybe playing two hours at a time just chilling with your friends maybe having some music in the background but yeah i'll give you guys my 25 through 50 guide another day because the game is releasing pretty soon so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace